Hello, and welcome to another episode of True Dungeon Talk with Trent. This is one of my how-to videos. Uh, in this video, we're going to discuss XP, earning XP from True Dungeon, what the difference between a class uh, level is and a player level. So let's just dive right in. All right, so first I'm going to hit my little screen sharing section here. All right, you want to go to the True Dungeon website and uh actually let's click on the top players here and then you'll see who our top players are now these are the people with the uh, most xp right now we have people all the way up to level 11 and uh i'm actually going to be inputting xp that i have recently earned as well all right so in order to do this first you want to go to um let's see how to play and then under rewards and XP, click that. All right. Now this gives you a breakdown of first level all the way uh, to all the different levels here. But I want to first point out this section here, XP stacking and post adventure rewards. Now here is earning player XP. So this sometimes I think is a little confusing for some people uh, when it comes to, let me jump back to this big screen here, uh, the class XP. All right, so this is um, a barbarian uh, card. This is the, the, the class card. On one side, you'll see it's fourth level. And on the opposite side, it's fifth level. So this is your, your class. This isn't you as the player. So you could be a bard, a cleric, a wizard, elf wizard, dwarf fighter, and on and on and on. Um, everyone who plays True Dungeon, they are going to be level four. I'm not sure why it's not level one or whatever, but anyway, it's level four uh, on one side and, and level five on the other side. The only way to um, increase from level four to level five is to have a certain uh, token or a set of tokens that gives you that level. So th this isn't the level we're uh, discussing today. Uh, today is going to be you, the player. So the first time that you play, uh, you will be, you'll have uh, no XP. Um, and from first, first level, you as the player is, let me zoom in a little bit more here. Um, though there's, there's no particular benefit for that. But as you play, um, you will gain XP and you'll get these little cards here, which I will uh, show you how to use in a second. All right, now earning player XP, this section here for uh, the different levels of play, you can play on non-lethal and, and by doing so you'll get 650 XP. If you play uh, on normal level, which is what a lot of people uh, typically play on, especially when they first start out, uh, you'll get 650 XP uh, and then 50 XP per room uh, that you enter. Doesn't mean you necessarily survive, <laughs> you just need to enter that room. Now, hardcore, is the same except it's an additional a thousand uh starting xp so 1650 and then plus 50 for the room and then there's also nightmare and epic but those are the same xp um as uh, hardcore as you can see here now this is you as the player your xp and at the end of an adventure you'll get these little cards uh, and then I'm about to input uh, my XP and you'll see how that works. But before we do that, let's talk about uh, the different rewards for each level. So uh, no benefit, uh, as you can see here, for first level. The second level, uh, this says the ability to enter certain events like True Grind. Uh, typically people, uh, it's recommended that you don't do True Grind as a beginner because it's just a, you know, crazy insane uh, experience on purpose it's supposed to be that kind of fun so they recommend that you be second level to enter there and now the th third level uh which is from 3000 uh, xp to 5999 uh, is a supporter badge becomes available on the td forms if you've done an online transmute or an order uh, and here's an example of that 
badge here. So here's a recent post from me, and you can see here that it says nine, ninth level for me. And if we scroll down, here's someone who's commented, Beer Trim, and they are 10th level. So that is the uh, supporter badge that is uh, you will gain from level three. Now, uh, when you hit level four, which is 6,000 to 9999, uh, you gain a level badge um, on the, uh, I'm sorry, this is the level badge that, that I just pointed out. Sorry, that's that's fourth level. Uh, so you gain that. Uh, and the supporter badge is right here. Sorry. Okay. So this is uh, take two. Um, level, third level, 3,000 to 5,999, the supporter badge, which is right here. So that means I've done a transmute order or placed an order. And then for the f uh, fourth level, this is the uh, gain a level badge that, um, sorry, my mouse is being funky. This is the level badge here. Uh, and you can see that Beer Trim also has the supporter badge here. Uh, now, fifth level, this is from 10,000 to 14,999. You gain a title of Lord or Lady uh, on the website, on the True Dungeon website here. And there's a private section. And prior to this level, you probably didn't know that it existed. But yes, there is a Lord and Ladies uh, forum where uh, early announcements might happen um, right before they appear to the public. Or maybe there's some type of token discussion or some type of other thing where uh, the powers that be at True Dungeon want to, you know, gain feedback from more experienced players. So it's pretty cool that you get to see a couple of things like uh, token design first happens there and then it uh, is exposed to the public to get feedback uh, there. You also get uh, an exclusive medallion of nobility, which uh, you can see here. Uh, I pulled this up on the TokenDB website, and here you can see this token. And I'll show you how to get this token as well. After you input your XP, you may think, well, how do I get this token? You're, you're about to see that. All right, so that's fifth level. Sixth level, this is from 15,000 to 2999. You gain one extra treasure trip at the end of, event, at the end of your adventure. So that's free plus one treasure which is pretty cool uh to get at six level uh, a recent addition to this particular level is this there's a new token called the signet of nobility and this is for the six player now i actually haven't claimed my reward yet because i wanted to make this video so you'll see how to claim any particular reward uh, and i'll be claiming this reward so you can see a real example of that now for seventh level 21,000 to 27,999. Uh, a specially designed True Dungeon convention badge holder, which is which is pretty pretty cool here. Let me jump back to the big screen here, so you can see that. So here's a nice little badge holder, um, and you know it's got a little pocket here, it's got a little zipper under here. You can you can put stuff here, and even on the back there's a. Uh, some space and like a little pen holder pen pen and pencil so yeah this is a really really nice elite level player i mean how fancy is that huh Ooh. so that's for seventh level uh and eighth level is for it says um 28,000 to 39,999 uh especially designed true double true true double <laughs> true double true dungeon uh lapel pin which uh is right here let's see let me cover up my eyeballs all right can that can that there it is all right so there's that little eighth level pin which is pretty cool all right so that's eighth level all right we're trucking right along here uh ninth level is forty thousand uh six nine 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 uh, a specially designed badge and nobility token that bestows plus one AC and access to the non-tangible perks uh, by Adventures Guild members. So here is that uh, token. And the description that I just gave you is, is also here on the token. So just like with uh, level six, you get plus one treasure. With level nine, now you have an extra uh, plus one to AC. Uh, I think it's kind of cool that those um, rewards uh, are affected in game. The out of game rewards are, are also nice, but I, I really like the the sixth and the ninth. 
Now, speaking of liking something, the next one is 10th level, 70,000 to 99999 XP, a lovingly handcrafted amulet and lanyard to display your favorite non-RFID token and level rewards for 11th through 15th level. Now, what it's talking about here is for um, 11th through 15, there's these little cabachon. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Uh, looks like little um, pieces of something, jewelry or something, uh, like gems, if you will, uh, from the 11th through 15. Um, there's a link here that will take you to this video, uh, which is the video that Jeff actually revealed this reward. So here's the 10th level reward, and you can stick uh, any token you want here. Uh, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So this will take you up to 15th level, and these cool little Cabochones, um, cabochones um, um, will will appear here, and you and from what I understand, there's a little um, adhesive on the back, and you can you can stick into those little spots. Uh, now, th this is what I am about to be tenth level. Uh, so I've got my little my little XP card here. Let's maybe go to the big screen. Uh, so here's the XP card. Let's see if that. There it is. All right, so you can look at that number if you want, but um, it's about to be invalid. Uh, all right, so after you finish your adventure, uh, you get this XP card, and um, it will. You know, there's a website down here, this website, truedungeon.com slash XP, which is where we're about to go. Um, okay, so you can either type that in up here, or you can go to... Um, Let's see. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm sorry. You could um, you can either type in slash XP or click on whatever your level is. So let me share the screen here. And I'm ninth level. Uh, so I'm going to click ninth level. And this brings up your list. So these are all the adventures uh, that I have done, uh, the different levels that I had done done at, and at the beginning just like most people I was playing normal this is in 2016 um, but I am currently ninth level and about to be 10th level so this is how you input XP into the system so off we go enter XP code select an event um, right now this is uh, let me scroll up here add 2023 XP Continue registration. <clears throat> this is a little slow. Um, so just sit here and wait for the spinning to be done. All right, there it is. Okay, so now I'm going to input this code here. Okay, let's see if I typed it right. Okay. All right, so this was uh, VTD 18, Tomb of, Terror, Tomb of Terror Chapter 7. Uh, and I actually did Epic. There's no other... Um well, I did a bunch of these, but uh, I did Epic a few times, uh, and I did survive, uh, or, or I entered into Room 7. Um, I also survived, but either way, uh, that part doesn't matter. Um, so you choose which, which room... You know which level either normal non lethal hardcore nightmare or epic and uh from hardcore nightmare and epic remember the xp is the same choose which room you you made it to uh, and then hit save so again this uh code unlocked vtd 18 tomb of terror chapter 7 you've got uh five choices normal non-lethal hardcore nightmare and epic click the drop down choose what room you made it to uh, that you actually entered into uh, and then hit save so the again i'm ninth level here up top on the upper left hand corner and this should bring me to level 10 uh epic i do seven hit save and uh now boom at the top 10th level <laughs> What's that? Tenth level. Mm, 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 mm. Oh yeah. All right. So tenth level. Uh, so if I hit that, there it is. I've just made it a hair over uh, tenth level, and now you'll see what um, 
that XP was four. So it's actually this line item here. I'm not sure why it's not like up top there, but that's okay. Um, this is what I just completed uh, or th that I just entered this card is. So now this card is, you know, no good, All right? It's no good anymore. Um, and that is level 10 uh, for me. Um, so yeah, now I'm level 10. Uh, it's, it's been a long road <sighs> back in my day. Um, yeah, it was really awesome. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. That's how you enter XP. Uh, and, oh, you know what? Sorry. There's one more thing I want to show you. Um, but still, thank you for watching. Let's go to the store. So yeah, I wanted to show you how to, uh, claim your rewards. So I just, um, so for the rewards, remember for level five, there's the medallion of nobility for level six. There's the signet of nobility for, uh, level seven. There's the, um, this holder here, the convention badge holder for level eight. There's the pin, right? For level nine, there's the badge of nobility and for level 10, there's this thing here. So let me go to the store and this is how you claim your rewards any of the rewards that i just mentioned should appear uh, here once you input your uh, level and there they are okay awesome so here is uh this is where of course you go and buy tokens i highly recommend it it's awesome um so you just scroll down to the bottom and for me i have not uh, claimed my signet of nobility yet so i will add that to cart that's a that's actually a a, a new a new thing that they added much you know, later after i had, had, had i had already uh, made level six and of course this just appeared uh i'm now level 10. um i'm actually going to give me a second here i want to take a little screenshot of this here i think it's kind of cool uh -huh. okay cool all right so i will use that later uh so now i want to oh and as you can see these things cost zero uh the rewards um and hit add to cart uh let me click this read more here it looks kind of fun congratulations on reaching 10th level an extraordinary achievement like that deserves an extraordinary reward Handcrafted amulet can be used to show off your favorite token. Just place the token in the center. The straw magnet keeps it in place. Okay. Uh, not for the RF, RFID. All right. So that is how that works. So now you go to checkout. And you can see these two items cost nothing. Uh, and then you just do the normal checkout process. I think you can uh, figure that part out. Um, you do need to pay for shipping. So what some people recommend is you, you know, place a normal order whenever you do your next normal order, add that in there. Or if you don't mind paying shipping for these items, you can just go ahead and, and do so. Uh, so now I will receive my six level uh, token, which is a new token um, and the 10th level reward, which I'm very happy about. And there you go. So that is how you uh, enter XP claim your rewards, and enjoy Play Into Your Dungeon. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video. Um, please do that liking and subscribing thing. It's really uh, helpful for the show and spreading the love of True Dungeon. And I hope you uh, enjoyed it. And thank you again for watching. And don't forget uh, one of my favorite things to say. It's really hard to frown when you're smiling. So smile. <laughs>